This is Newsbreak 26 in Southwest New Brunswick. I'm Vicki Hogarth. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. Just days after new travel restrictions were introduced for the province, Chief Medical Officer of Health Dr. Jennifer Russell announced a confirmed case of the COVID-19 India variant known as B1617 has been identified in Zone 3, the Fredericton region. This area has New Brunswick's first confirmed case of the COVID-19 variant first identified in India. In the coming days, we will determine if new public health restrictions are required to slow the spread of the virus in Zone 3. And we will not hesitate to act to protect the health of New Brunswickers. The India strain is currently seen as a variant of interest. Like the UK, South Africa and Brazil versions that have preceded it, this variation is a natural stage in the development of a novel virus like COVID-19. And as the virus spreads, it will change and adapt. At the Tuesday press conference, Dr. Russell also announced the death of a person in their 20s to the COVID-19 UK variant, the youngest person in New Brunswick to die so far from COVID-19. I asked Dr. Russell how effective the vaccine seems to be against these more aggressive and more contagious variants, and if vaccine resistance could be possible with ever-evolving variants. Our best information today is that two doses of the vaccine will protect us from hospitalization, severe symptoms and ICU admission and death uh, to a very, very great extent. So um, just coming back to the outbreak in zone four in uh, Grand Falls, people were asking around, you know, how many of the people uh, have been vaccinated in that outbreak? Um, and I don't have an exact number, but my understanding is that there's quite a large number of people who have been vaccinated. And again, we're seeing very mild symptoms. Um, and, and I think some of the people have only been vaccinated with one dose. So that is very good news because that particular outbreak is the South African variant. At the press conference, Premier Blaine Higgs announced that New Brunswickers aged 60 and up are now eligible to book a vaccine appointment. He also defended the introduction of isolation hotels for leisure travelers returning to the province that went into effect over the weekend, a move he believes is necessary in light of the presence of more aggressive variants in New Brunswick. And we've had people that were supposed to go home and isolate and we kind of, uh, you know, they would come in and, and go to their home. And so but they really didn't. They would maybe go to, to visit people on the way or they would stop in places that they didn't need to. So what we decided was that it's kind of short-term pain for a long-term gain and having the isolation hotels where we actually know where they are, we actually can keep monitors there, watching the rooms, ensuring people stay in the room, their, their supplies are there. We get a chance to test them after five, ten day, five, seven days. So we know that, okay, we've got this sorted out. Uh, and then they can go home. Higgs stressed that these isolation hotels are for people returning to the province from leisure travel, as well as individuals moving to New Brunswick and business travelers who are not rotational workers, truck drivers, or regular cross-border commuters. But right now, we're trying to monitor all travel, and particularly leisure travel that was unnecessary. Because, you know, we asked everyone not to travel. And so if people have decided that, well, I'm going to go south anyway, uh, that's a problem, and we'd like you to stay south for just a little longer. Finally, Patty Borthwick of St. George lost her daughter, Hillary Hooper, to suicide in December of 2020. Hillary struggled with the health care system to find proper help to find suitable mental health care and ultimately ended her own life in the St. John Regional Hospital. To honor Hillary's memory and to celebrate what would have been her 28th birthday, Borthwick organized a food drive called Hillary's Hope for Hunger on Saturday in downtown St. George, with all proceeds going to the St. George and Area Food Bank. The event was also Borthwick's way of raising suicide awareness in the community. Um, and it was just a way to, to honor Hillary and make something happy out of something really sad. So, and um, she'd hate all the attention on her, but I said, you left me, so this is what happened. <laughs> so it's going to be really good, and, and the food bank, these are hard months for the food bank, so I guess this is a really good time, so we're going to do it annually. In total, the event collected over 7,000 pounds of food items and raised just under $20,000 in cash donations, making it the largest single donation to the local food bank ever. That's all the news I have for you. For more stories and live-streamed COVID-19 updates for New Brunswick, follow us on Facebook at chco.tv. A news and public affairs production of CHCO-TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.